Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Maya basic modeling series. So in our last video, we created this wooden pallet and today we are going to create some oil barrel. So let's hide this pallet and start with our modeling. So for these barrels, uh, we are going to take a cylinder and increase the radius and height. Let's keep it 9.5 and radius 3.5. Now go to edge mode and select this edge, then split and bevel, increase the fraction like this now go to face mode and uh, select all these faces, press control E and increase the offset. Then control E again and uh, extrude. Extrude one more time and this time with some offset like this. Repeat the same thing here. Just select all these faces. Press Ctrl E and uh, increase the offset and extrude. Now select these faces and extrude again, add some thickness. Now select this edge, then split and scale it like this. Also this one, do the same, add, split it and scale. Go to front view and select this edge, then split again and bevel. Decrease the fraction to 0 0.3. Maybe add some more height to this barrel. So scale it in the y axis like this. Now again, select this edge, then split and pull this one up here. Same thing here. Pull this one down like this. Now select all these edges, press shift right click and select this connect component and add eight segments and scale them down like this. Do the same thing for this side, connect component with eight segments and scale. Now select all these edges and bevel, increase the fraction keep it 0 0.55 and select the alternate edge Then scale them just a little bit. Now 
Now go to edge mode again and select all these edges. Then bevel, turn the chamfer off, now let's add some supporting edges for these parts. So go to edge mode first and select this edge, then pull this up a little bit like this then take insert edge loop tool and add one edge here and one here so keep adding all these supporting edges like this So we are done adding the supporting edges. Let's press 3 and see it in smooth preview mode. So our barrel looks good. Let's add a few more edges here. So again take insert edge tool or multi cut tool. And with the multi cut tool press ctrl and add one edge ring here. And one here. Now let's create these parts and for that I'm going to take another cylinder and pull this up like this go to top view place it here and decrease the radius to 0 0.4 and also subdivision axis to 8 decrease the height as well keep it 0 0.2 or maybe 0 0.1 now go to face mode and select all these faces then select similar and delete them go to edge mode select these edges then press shift and scale them like this Now go to edge mode and select all these edges except these ones then bevel and turn the chamfer off decrease the fraction to 0 0.1 go to top view and place it here Go to front view and align it with the surface so pull this down like this and let's model that cover so take another cylinder Go to top view and place it here, bring it up, again in the top view decrease the radius like this, and let's keep the subdivision for this 8.
also decrease the height. Keep it 0.1. Now go to face mode and select all these faces. Then press Ctrl E and add some offset like this. Then extrude again and add some thickness with some offset. And now go back to face mode and select all these faces and delete them. And now we can add some supporting edges for this one. So take multi cut or insert edge loop tool. Add one edge here. One for this one and one here. And let's finish it off by adding one here and one down here. And now we are done. Let's pull this down and place it inside this other cylinder and scale it like this. Pull this up and go to edge mode. Then select these two edges and pull them up like this. And now place it inside this cylinder. like this and now we can create a duplicate and place this one here on the other side and scale it up a little bit So our barrel modeling is completed. Let's select everything and put this in a layer. Let's combine everything. And unhide your palette. Select this maybe scale down it a little bit like this go to front view and put it here just place it on the palette create a duplicate and place this one here on the other side just like this And so our barrel modeling is completed. So that's how you can create a barrels and put them on a wooden palette like this and then create a small environmental scene. So that's it for today and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And if you did then like this video and subscribe to the channel. You can also join my discord. All the links will be in the description. So go check them out. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.